Today, we're going to talk about uh, what's going on in the overall real estate market. We like to come to you each and every week with the latest, particularly what's going on in our hyper-local hyper market. That's Lantana, Argyle, Flower Mound, and North Lake. And North Lake is a booming area in North Texas. So we, uh, we love following that. Plus, there's a lot going on there. We've got a lot of new neighborhoods and new construction, new development coming. So um, love our, uh, our neck of the woods, but we also love bringing you an update on the overall national market. So today we're going to do both of those things. My name is Brian White. My wife Tisha and I are uh, with Blue Fuse Group at EXP Realty. Uh, we love living, serving, and, uh, and giving of our time, talent, and treasure here in the North Texas area. So why don't we dive right in and talk about what's going on in the overall real estate market in North Texas. Each week, we're bringing in the latest market updates and trends for what's going on in North Texas real estate, especially Lantana, Flower Mound, Argyle, and North Lake. So if you want to get those updates first, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can get notified when we have new releases. So first, let's talk about you know let's talk about mortgages and, and what's going on in um, in mortgage applications. The reason we're doing that is a lot of times you can tell the health of a real estate market based on how many mortgages are being applied for. People apply for a mortgage when they're starting the process of looking for a new home, right? That's the great first step. If you're thinking about making a move, you want to do that first because you want to know how much home can you afford. What are my payments going to look like? And really, that gives you an overall budget for uh, for what kind of home you can purchase. So in this case, uh, we're looking at going all the way back to uh, to the first of March, right? Just as as COVID nineteen and the pandemic was coming out, you can see that uh, mortgage applications just dove, right? Uh, no surprise, nobody was buying a home during the months of uh, of March and April. What we see though is near the end of April and heading heading into May that there was a real spike. So demand continued to be high for home buyers really all through the summer. Um, so we, we saw the, the number of uh, purchase applications growing week over week. Uh, that trailed off near the end of June, right? As we saw kind of this COVID round two come out, it dipped just a little bit, but then we've seen that come back and the number of home purchase applications uh, continues to be very, very steady as we complete the end of the summer and now kids are going back to school. What we've traditionally seen is the time of year when when uh, moving starts to slow down, we're continuing to see terrific activity. We're actually, August is the, our strongest month of the year so far. We're looking at a very healthy September and seeing activity continue through the remainder of the fall. I think one of the reasons is, uh, like I said, that kids going back to school, well, as kids are more and more are going to school virtually, that gives parents more flexibility to move without uh, without disrupting a lot of things. So just something to think about. So why are purchase applications so strong? A couple of reasons for that. Uh, number one, <laughs> you know, I think a lot of people were uh, stuck at home for months at a time and that caused people to reevaluate. Uh, is this the home that I want to stay in? You might be thinking that too. So people are thinking uh, they, they spending more time noticing the things about their home that they don't like or the things that uh, that they hope for in their next home. So So more people are thinking about that. The second thing is for the foreseeable future, it looks like there's this trend that pe more people are going to be working from home. And as people are working from home, more people need a space to do that. Uh, you know, if, if you're someone who hadn't planned to work from home, maybe you had an office, but it wasn't a dedicated space, or now you have multiple people in a home that are, that are needing to work from home. Shoot. Maybe now your, your kids are doing school from home and you need, uh, separate space. Well, people are seeing that and they're deciding that they need to uh, buy a bigger home with dedicated office, maybe with an extra bedroom that they can also use from our office. So we're seeing uh, more people do that. And then the last reason is mortgage rates are low. I mean, mortgage rates are crazy historic low. They are at or very near the lowest they've been all time. In some cases, we're seeing rates below 3%. So there, we're not only seeing, uh, we're not only seeing refinance, uh, applications improve. Uh, and the reason we're showing this report here is that's purchase applications have, um, you know, continue to remain steady. So uh, lots of reasons why people might be, uh, why mortgage applications have continued to be strong. People are thinking about moving and why demand in the overall uh, market has been strong. So in, in Lantana in July of, of uh, 2020, the median home prices are actually up 15%. What's interesting though is 
that while the closed sales were actually at 23% uh, in July, 23% over the previous year, the number of listings was down. So there were more sales. Big reason for that is new construction and new construction uh, homes closing. But, uh, but the number of homes listed in the month of July was down significantly, nearly a third over, uh, over the previous year. As a result, the months of inventory was, uh, was just over 2%. Two, per, two months of inventory means that every home will sell. So if we stopped listing homes today, every home would sell in, uh, in just over two months. We also saw that days on market dropped six days. So six days fewer than it was in July of 2019. So that six days fewer than super hot summer market homes in Lantana are actually selling really, really quickly right now. Um, these numbers for, were for July. I looked at, uh, at the numbers for just this last week and eight homes closed in Lantana last week, but only three new homes listed. Eight homes closed and only three homes listed. That means that every home listed on the market is getting just a ton of attention. And right now is a terrific time to sell. So next let's talk about, um, let's talk about Flower Mound. And uh, you know, the story in Flower Mound was, uh, was almost as strong. The median home price was actually up just under 11%. So the median home price in Flower Mound is now $455,000. So if you think about the median home price being up 11% year over year, that means that homes, the median home price went up roughly almost 50 grand. So the median home price in Flower Mound went up almost $50,000. If you've owned your home for quite a while, that may, now may be the time for you to sell. You may say that, you know what, we have seen so much of an equity increase that, uh, that, that we want to get out and take advantage of this. Um, if you take that equity and then you also look at how low interest rates are, and you can actually put that equity um, into a new home with a, uh, you know, a large down payment with a really low interest rate and likely upgrade your home without increasing your, uh, increasing your payments at all. So um, the closed sales were actually pretty flat uh, year over year in Flower Mound. And a big part of that is we saw that the number of listings, active listings was down 28% year over year. So Flower Mound doesn't have anywhere near the, uh, the new construction. Um, it's just, it's just more built out than many other areas. So, um, so we're not seeing the, as many new construction listings as we have in some other areas with closed sales flat, home prices have been up dramatically because there are so many fewer uh, listings. And then, um, you know, the days on market is roughly flat as well. Uh, what's interesting though, is we are still seeing the months of inventory down. Uh, the reason for that is demand is high and the number of homes listed is down. So uh, when demand is high, listings are down, then we see home prices go up and uh, the number of, uh, you know, the, the amount of inventory available for the market you know, the amount of prices is up and the inventory is down. So the last thing we'll talk about is, uh, is Argyle. So uh, home prices again in Argyle were up 13%. So we were seeing somewhere between 11 and 15% in an uh, in hour market area, home prices are up year over year. That's huge. So the median price in, in Argyle is nearly $480,000. Uh, the number of active listings was actually up a little bit. It was up 3% in, um, in July versus July. So that's great but the number of closed sales was actually down a ton. Uh, it was down 41% year over year. Uh, so, so a little bit different market in Argyle. Argyle is a little bit more rural. You're seeing more homes with, uh, with land, uh, with an acre, with large lots, sometimes with, uh, with multiple acres. So pretty, pretty interesting cross section in Argyle of new construction, new luxury construction, and then uh, larger luxury style homes in, in their Argyle area. So um, the number of sales was actually down, like I said, 41% year over year. So um, days on market was longer. Some of that's because, you know, homes, uh, although everybody kind of has the dream of moving out to acreage and, um, and, and moving to the country, the, the reality is that sometimes those sales take a little bit longer. So uh, that's been the case in, uh, in Argyle. So if you've got any questions about, uh, about the market. We've covered a ton today, right? So we've talked about, um, you know, we've talked about mortgage rates. We've talked about what's going on in the overall mortgage market. So our market has continued to be very strong uh, now and in the future with uh, rates and mortgage rates continuing to be so low. It now is a, a very strong uh, market for buyers. When buyer demand is very high, you see that uh, prices are going up because there just aren't very many listings on the market. We looked at Lantana, Argyle and Flower Mound area. And all of those areas had home prices up 
more than 10% year over year. So a lot of people, when we um, early in the, the COVID uh, situation, a lot of people were predicting home prices to decline. We've seen exactly the opposite. Uh, I've recorded a lot of video on why that is and have been predicting for quite a while that home prices would, would continue to remain very strong and even increase. So now we're seeing that as the case. What all of that means is that if you're thinking about making a move, now is a brilliant time to do that. The reasons are home prices are up dramatically. So if you've got a home to sell, now is a great time to do that and take your equity and capture that and make a ton of money when you sell. The great news, though, is that because mortgage rates are really, really low, you can purchase, even though you may be paying more for the uh, may uh, pay more up front for the home, your your payment is likely still to remain very, very low because mortgage rates are at historic lows. So if you're thinking about any of this stuff, let's just sit down and have a conversation. Uh, Tisha and I would love to help you talk through what your options are and how to make this move amazing for you. That's what we do at Blue Fuse. We make real estate awesome. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon.